Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I was thinking to myself as I travel around Spain here, why are there so many Tony Romas in Spain and are they better than the ones in North America or even different? So if you don't know the history of Tony Romas, it had humble beginnings back in Miami in 1972, serving like steaks, burgers. It was kind of like a little grill. And then through the 80s and 90s, it absolutely exploded. They had the franchise model and they ended up having over 100 locations in the US alone. But now back in North America, Tony Romas is dwindling. In Canada, they're only in three provinces with seven locations. And I believe four of those locations are actually in Alberta. And uh, down in the States, they're only in eight states with 11 locations. So for all of North America, there is only 18 locations in total. Now here in Spain, they have 27 locations, which to me is crazy that they have more locations than all of North America, especially when you consider the population. The population back in North America is probably 370 million people here. And in Spain, there's only what, like maybe 48 million and they have 27 locations versus our 18. So as their numbers dwindle in North America, it seems their international franchises flourish. They have spots all over the world. I think they're in like 19 countries or something like that, like Australia, Panama, Guatemala, um, the UAE, Mexico, and many, many more. So they seem to be doing well on an international stage. So I figured they have one here in uh, Benidorm down on Avenida de Mediterraneo. So I figured, hey, why not pop in? We'll check her out. I was actually at a Tony Roma's a couple years back in Alberta. I kind of remember what it was like. So I thought, let's head down to Tony Roma's, get some ribs, get an appetizer, get a cocktail, and we'll compare it and rate it. So just getting out of Tony Roma's, uh, I ordered a margarita, which wasn't too bad. I'd give it probably a seven out of 10. It's your pretty typical standard uh, chain restaurant margarita. And then I went with what they call tonion rings back home in North America. That is the famous onion loaf. It's like seasoned fried onions, densely packed with some sweet barbecue dipping sauce on the side. I'd give that maybe eight, eight and a half out of 10. Not too bad, uh, hit the spot. And then I went with the famous baby back ribs. They are definitely fall off the bone super sauced uh really sweet bourbon sauce on them though not my kind of style of ribs i prefer like a dry rub smoked rib uh with like a bit more bite to it but overall not too bad i'd give them an eight out of ten for a chain restaurant they're they're pretty good now i will say though the quality of the food over here in spain surpasses what I've had in the, like the last couple years, I think I visited one in Edmonton maybe a year and a half, two years ago. So overall, the Spanish Tony Romas is definitely better than the North American one. Few uh, menu items missing though, like you can't get the baked beans and there's some other stuff that are that is not on the menu. But overall, um, not a bad option for a chain restaurant. So definitely beats out the North American version. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you in the next one.